Welcome, 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 collective. This is Queen here. Back again with another intuitive general message for the collective. Don't know what's coming out, but we're about to see. Okay. Now remember to take what resonates and to leave what does not. If this message doesn't resonate, please don't try to make it fit. Also know that energy is fluid. We could be picking up on masculine or feminine energy. So please reverse the roles when necessary. Again, thanks for tapping in. Thanks for all your lawyer support. When we have your divine spirit. For my A1 Day ones, thank you so much. For your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're always welcome here. What's your Holy Spirit? What do they need to know? 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 Oh, that's too many. Hope everyone's enjoying their day. Wherever you are in the world. I send you love and high vibrations. Boy, somebody's stuck. <laughs> That's all I can like say. Somebody's stuck. I don't know what this is. Hmm. The energy I'm picking up is somebody's stuck in a situation here. What's here, spirit? Somebody's stuck in some type of situation. They're trying to get out of it. Oh, and they're trying hard to get out of it. Yeah, somebody's in mental conflict. Yeah, somebody's trying to get get out of something here. They ain't in a conflict about it. Hmm, what else is here, spirit? Somebody found out something here, but I'm getting they only got half the information. They only got half the information. They know that there's more to this story, or they know they know it's more to it. I'm hearing they know it's more to it. What's here, spirit? Please clarify. Well, somebody's not didn't gain something I didn't get what they wanted here okay maybe it was something material they were supposed to get okay or some money or something they didn't receive they know it's more to it somebody's in a conflict about it they can't figure something out here somebody's stuck though maybe they're just stuck on trying to figure out what happened to what belongs to them here what's your spirit I'm getting to know somebody's behind it. What's your spirit? Please and thank you. What do they need to know? Yeah, I'm getting to know somebody's behind it. Somebody's behind all this. This person is thinking really heavy about what happened to their stuff here. Just let me see what this is. Yeah. Hmm. There's some type of loss here. Some type of material loss or... Some type of money loss, okay? Could be a person, place, or thing, okay? Something somebody was waiting for. They were waiting on this, whatever this is. Wow, they're stuck, probably can't move, can't go forward, can't do something they want to do because this, this didn't come in here. Somebody's going over and over in their head like they're saying somebody's behind them not getting something that they that they're supposed to be theirs. They've been waiting for this here. Yeah, obstacles and challenges here. This person is faced with a lot of obstacles and challenges here. And they're in mental conflict because something didn't come through for them. Okay? They figure somebody's behind it. Behind it. Somebody's caused this to happen here. Caused them to suffer some type of loss here. Something that they've been waiting for here. It never came through here. Okay? It never came through for whoever this person is. Okay? They've been waiting... I'm getting it could have been some money or something they was um, wanting to grow. It could have been a partnership. could have been something they wanted out of a partnership or um, a relationship or something. It, it, it didn't pan out. This person is stuck. They don't know why they didn't have a victory here. Okay, now they, they, had, they had a loss instead of a victory here. What else is here? Why is patient and planning here, Spirit? Please clarify. Thank you. Yeah, something's not right. Something's in balance. Something caused something to go in a, in, in a way that it shouldn't have went here. Okay. Maybe it was this union here. Okay. Something turned upside down. Somebody decided not to give their love to somebody or, well, give their money, time, and love to somebody here. Somebody's in mental conflict about it. They don't know why this happened. Why, why this, they, they, they thought everything was on the right path here. 
But now all of a sudden they're faced with a loss here. Obstacles, challenges. They didn't get the victory that they were waiting for here. Hmm. Something shaky about this foundation here. After a long wait, something, something didn't happen. Somebody feels powerless here. Somebody feels like somebody made the wrong decision here. Okay, somebody thinks somebody made an ungodly decision is what I'm getting here. Wow. Tell me about this ungodly decision, Spirit. Somebody made the wrong decision. Somebody decided not to go towards somebody or somebody felt like if they came towards this person or collective, if you went towards this person, there would be a lot of obstacles and challenges here. Yeah, yeah, this is an unexpected outcome, all right. Hmm. Somebody, somebody backed out of a relationship here is what I'm getting here. What's here, spirit? Somebody backed out of a relationship. Somebody changed their mind. Suddenly changed their mind here. All of a sudden, something was growing. Then it went one minute, you know, you had it together. And the next minute, it was gone. And you don't know what shook this foundation, what shook this relationship, what shook this union after all this patience and planning. You are suffering some type of emotional loss here. Well, this is why somebody's in... This person's in mental conflict here because they feel like somebody's behind this here. Okay. Behind them losing their person here. They feel like somebody caused this to happen. Mm-hmm. Somebody's missing somebody here. They're missing their laughter, their jokes, their time together. Wow. What else is here, Spirit? What do they need to know? Hmm. Yeah, detachment here. Yeah, somebody left a... I'm getting they left a relationship suddenly. I had to let this go so I could clear my mind. Yeah, I'm getting somebody left this relationship suddenly, okay? And this is why this person is confused. And this is why they're saying somebody had to be behind their person um, leaving them or detach, detaching from them or separating from them. And they're suffering some type of emotional loss. They're in mental conflict because they don't understand... They feel like somebody's behind it all, you know, like somebody shook their foundation with their partner, with their person here. Yeah. Something's not balanced here. After all the patience and planning that they put into this relationship here, I'm getting that somebody sabotaged it. Or this person feels like somebody sabotaged it. They don't know what to think. Really, they don't know what happened. It happened all of a sudden, whatever this is. What else is here, Spirit? Tell us more. Why did this person detach from the collective? Or did the collective detach from this person? Okay. Reverse the roles. Okay. Somebody felt like somebody wasn't their soul tie here. Mm-hmm. Somebody feels like there was some type of misunderstanding. Okay. Somebody only see one side of a situation here. Maybe this is the person that wanted to walk away. Maybe they only saw it one side of here. And this person doesn't understand what, what happened. They're, they're at emotional loss here. They're not understanding why this person uh, <laughs> feels like it was some type of misunderstanding in the relationship. What kind of misunderstanding, Spirit? What's going on here? Please tell us more. Please tell us more. Okay. We have a conversation in the reverse here. Hmm. Somebody doesn't want to talk to somebody here. They, they refuse to take their calls or something. Somebody's in mental conflict. Why this person just left them all of a sudden? Why they wanted to detach all of a sudden, right? Claiming that there's some type of misunderstanding or you feel like there's a misunderstanding. Somebody here, see here feels like there's been a misunderstanding and a separation here. Somebody's not understanding why something took place. Why this person, why their person detached from them. They're in mental conflict here. Yeah, there's a lot of obstacles and challenges now where there wasn't any before. Everything was planned out perfect. Everything was, was, was balanced. Now everything's like turned upside down. Okay, there's a lot of obstacles. There's a lot of, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I should do here with this connection. Somebody just wanted to detach. They just had to let it go. Okay, and somebody's missing this person here. They don't call them. They don't text them. They don't do anything anymore. 
So it's more spirit. Well, okay. Don't waste no time. Somebody's want to start a new chapter with somebody else here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They only detach from uh, this person to tell them that they wanted to move on here. Okay. Oh, but they got secrets here. There are some secrets here. Yeah. They didn't tell them the host. They just told them they want to move on and detach from them or separate from them, but they ain't telling them why. That's why this person's in middle conflict. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There is a misunderstanding here because somebody here feels like um, they were in a soul contract with their person here. And this is why this person is like, why Why aren't they even talking to me? Like, why did they stop? Why did the collective stop talking to me? Hmm. What else is here, Spirit? Yeah, they're keeping a secret here. They haven't told you everything. They want to start a new chapter with someone else is what I'm getting here. This is why they're walking away from this relationship. But maybe they're not telling you or maybe you're not telling them. You know, maybe you want to keep it a secret that you have another soul contract with somebody else because being with this person overwhelmed you, Collective. Okay? It just simply overwhelmed you and you don't want to talk to this person no more. You, you know, it was too much stress. You know, it was draining you is what I'm getting here. All right? Maybe the person you're dealing with just stayed in their ego all the time, you know? Well, maybe they were some type of narcissist or something like that here. You just got tired. Yeah, I'm getting there wasn't no chemistry there. I'm getting there was what there was no chemistry there, so maybe you walked away from this person, um, collective. Okay. Or possibly this person goes at you and you don't know why. What's your spirit? Please clarify. Yeah, somebody feels unappreciated here, okay? With all these secrets, okay? Wow. Somebody's feeling like somebody didn't care. Okay. And somebody didn't care because they wanted to start a new chapter with somebody else. And whoever they were with overwhelmed them. They stressed them out. They drained them. Okay. Now somebody's not understanding why this, this relationship is not on anymore. Like somebody wants to start a new with someone else here. Somebody's not telling somebody why they walked away. Yeah. Somebody was struggling with telling somebody the truth here. What else is here, Spirit? Somebody felt unappreciated after giving, giving, and giving patience with their patience and their planning for everything to work out just fine with this person. This person just walks off, walks right out of their life here. Yeah, this person's not understanding why. Yeah, this person, I mean, yeah, somebody's keeping a secret here that they want um, to be in another relationship with somebody else, okay? They may have had a soul tie with you, but they feel like they have a soul contract with somebody else here. Somebody made somebody feel overwhelmed. Somebody was stressed out. So they walked away. Somebody felt like somebody was draining them. On the other hand, somebody feels like they were not appreciated here. I don't know. But it's just, yeah. Somebody's afraid it's too late to take any action. Um, because this person has definitely moved on. Whoever this is, they have definitely walked away from this relationship. I'm getting their patient and planning or whatever. Their patient and planning came in that they was leaving their, per their, their person to go be with somebody new here. Okay, they may have been a little indecisive at first. But see, this is somebody that's in their ego. Okay, this is somebody that's in their ego here. Yeah, somebody that let their pride get in the way of the connection here. Yeah. Somebody wants to, you know, get back with it with, with their person here. But, yeah, they ain't in a conflict. They don't know why their person walked away from them here. But they definitely want, want them back here. But whoever this is, they didn't appreciate you, especially when it comes to committing to you here. The only thing that they did commit to was being in a third party. Okay? This is what Spirit said. This is why they needed space. This is why they got away from you. And those secrets, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was only a secret that was kept from you. But others knew. Okay. Others knew. Yeah. What else is here, Spirit? Somebody thought somebody here was, you know, that this relationship was going to be inseparable. Like, they would be with this person forever here. But somebody said they want to start with somebody new. They walked away. They simply walked away. Yeah. Somebody let their pride get in the way of this connection here. Yeah. Somebody was keeping it a secret that they wanted to commit to a third party here. Okay, 
This is why they said they need some more time. Okay. They needed some time here to take action. They need more time to think here is what they're saying here. But they're gossiping. They told others what they, what they were going to do. That they were going to start over with somebody else. Because they feel like somebody here was overwhelming them. Stressing them out. Okay. They wanted to just detach from this person here. Is what I'm getting here. They didn't feel any chemistry there anymore. Okay. Yeah. Somebody feels unappreciated here. Hmm. I mean, after all the hard work they put in there, this person's in a conflict. They feel like somebody's behind this, okay? And and they're more than likely right because this some this person left them for somebody else here. And they try to keep it a secret from this person, but um, what has happened? Hmm. They tried to keep it away from this person that they had plans on leaving them here, so they had to do it in a, a cold callous way they just freaking walked away from this person here okay being away from you has allowed me to gain some clarity so maybe now somebody's like gaining clarity about why this person wanted out this union here maybe they were in mental conflict at first here and they was hoping that they could you know get this person back here but this person ran further and further away this was definitely an unexpected outcome Okay, it was an unexpected outcome. Somebody thought they would be with this person. Tell us more here, spirit. Mm -hmm. Wow, I feel pain from the damage I have caused. So somebody know they caused some damage here. Okay, probably left somebody feeling broken here is what I'm getting here. So we're going to dig a little deeper and see what spirit has to say. Which one, spirit? Which one you want me to go to? Mm. Yeah. Somebody's going to be in, enlightened to something, okay? Enlightened to why somebody cut the cord on them here. Why they walked away. Why they, choose to, to, why, why they chose to walk away. Simply because they were effing around, okay, with someone else here, okay? Yeah, there was third-party interference here. Left somebody puzzled, confused, okay? But why this person couldn't be non-committal to them? Because they had secrets here, all right? They had secrets. They wanted to leave somebody here to go be with somebody else, okay? This person let their ego get in the way here. Wow, they know they caused you some pain, whoever you are. But they felt like now was the time to take action. They wasn't going to commit, okay? They wanted to continue to F around with somebody else, okay? Maybe they were cheating with somebody. Yep, yeah, new lover. <laughs> yeah, they got a new lover, all right? Thank you, spirit. Mm-hmm. They wanted somebody more or less to be a sex slave. Okay, this third party acts more like a sex slave, okay? Wow. And so they they went over to this person. All right. This is safe for sex. So for sexual gratification here. This is why they cut the cord. <laughs> this person cut the cord. And yeah. Wow. They went towards being they wanted to be with a new lover here. This is why they were not committal here. Okay. I love you puzzled, confused, okay, why they cut you off, why they ghosted you, you know, for a third party. A third party is more like a sex slave. They do what they tell them to do and everything. So they committed themselves to the third party here. They were more easier to get over on than you were, is what I'm getting here. What else is here, spirit? Wow. Maybe this person felt like you were uh, overwhelming them or that they were overwhelming you. Somebody was stressed out here, okay? Somebody was draining somebody here. They was already in mental conflict, so it didn't, it didn't take them long. But whoever, you know, was drained out, drained and stressed out or whatever, maybe they need to heal from some childhood trauma, okay? Then maybe that's why they are non-committal here. Could be a male, all right? Could be a male here, okay? Yeah. Secrets, everybody knew. But the other person that was getting cheated on, okay? Everybody else knew. Yeah, and this that yeah, it was a gag order put on for people, you know, for you not to find out this secret that this person was <laughs> off to see another lover that they was gonna cut the cord with you and go to a third party because a third party was more like a sex slave. Maybe you didn't want to be a sex slave, but this this person, whoever you were dealing with, they just simply like fucking around. Okay. Yeah. They started a, a, a new chapter with somebody else. They felt like it was time, all right, to get back probably with an ex or something here. Because it says reunion. So, yeah, they were they were deciding whether to be with you or to be with the ex. And they chose the, the ex because, you know, the ex in this situation, uh, you know, was more of a sex slave here. 
feminine or masculine, you know. Put it where it goes, spirit said. This is why they cut the cord, okay? They cut the cord to go towards a new lover here, to start a new chapter with this new lover here. Maybe it was somebody they were with in the past here, okay? And they wanted to go back with him. They they, they felt it was time, okay? They were overwhelmed and, and drained, and they didn't know how to tell you. They couldn't tell you. And maybe this is why, you know, they, they put some space in between you two here. It says about to find out something about their past here. Yeah. They got back with their past lover here. That's what you're about to find out. Yeah, they might have been hush-hush about it, keeping the secret. Everybody knew about the secret except you is what I'm hearing by the third party. Mm -hmm. They want to leave you puzzled and confused as to why they left you. But this is why. This is what Spirit said. What else is here? Yeah. What else is here, Spirit? Tell us more. Spirit said, don't worry. Don't worry, you got stood up. That that person was only showing you unrequited love here. Spirit said, don't worry. Whoever you are, don't worry. What else is here, Spirit? What would you like for them to know? Maybe this person likes skating. I don't know. Something to do with skating. Maybe you skate. Somebody skates. Somebody's tired of the bullshit, though. Okay. Somebody do want to talk about this, you know, why this person, they want to know why this person just walked away, but the reason why they walked away from you and ghosted you is because they wanted to go towards the new love or third party, somebody that they were with in the past, okay? Wow. And they were being very quiet about it. Hush, hush, okay? Hmm. Yeah, I don't deserve someone like you. They don't. You were too good for this person, okay? This person was a cheater anyway. This person has a big-ass ego. They felt like you were too emotional, whoever you are. Okay? And this really, like, bothered this person. Like, it stressed this person out. Like, it was draining this person. I don't know. This is why they, they couldn't show you the love that they wanted to. Even though, no matter how much you poured into their cup, they left yours empty, is what I'm getting here. Yeah. They might have found you very attractive. Okay, but <laughs> I got to keep it real, y'all. They wanted you out of their face or you wanted them out of your face. Take it how it resonates, okay? Somebody said, get out of my face. Somebody got tired. Time's up. Shit, they was like, this shit's stressing me out. I ain't got time for it, okay? Mm-hmm. This person got several partners here that you were dealing with. That's what come. They couldn't commit to you. This is why they were non-committal here. Yeah. This is what this person normally does, okay? This is this is this is what they do. They wanted somebody like a sex slave and you wasn't you wasn't getting down like that here. This person has several sex partners, okay? Which leads me to believe that well, yeah, you may be disappointed, but it leads me to believe that this person, you know, has a sexual addiction here. All right. You may feel disappointed that this happened. Or they may feel disappointed that this happened. Whoever this happened to, they feel disappointed here. Somebody thought you were too emotional, but the spirit said, don't worry, you better have some good karma here. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. This person didn't deserve somebody like you anyway. They have several partners they sleep around with, okay? Well, somebody thinks you were too emotional, they thought you asked for too much here. This person simply couldn't say what they wanted to say to your face. Okay, whoever this is. They just wanted somebody to get out their face, okay? They found they found you attractive, but I don't know. They just got simply tired of you. Somebody got tired of somebody here. What else is here? Yeah, somebody got back with somebody from their past here, okay? Yeah, they were cheating on you. Mm -hmm. With somebody who probably favors you a lot here is what I'm getting here. They favor you a lot because they did find you attractive uh, from masculine, okay? Wow. Well, Hmm. Well, this person has several sex partners, but they're still going to go back to their ex because their ex is like a sex slave to them. Whenever they call this ex for sex, they're always available. Okay, and if they're not available, they go find, find somebody else until they get their wish fulfilled. Um, we're getting a um, sexual desire, and then they tell that person to get out their face, and they go on to the next here, to the next partner here. Okay, wow. That's why Spirit said, don't worry, this person only had unrequited love for you anyway. Don't worry, you got good karma coming. Okay. This person was not committal anyway. They went off, they left you for a new lover. Which was somebody that they got with from their past, okay? And um, several other partners. 
so this person's not not they're, they're not gonna give this up anytime soon is what i'm getting here you know well hmm sex is what they desire here and they feel like you were too emotional like you were getting too emotionally attached to them or something like that here they didn't like that that frustrated them okay well yeah you may be disappointed okay so this person may be sleeping with your friend mm-hmm there's something else behind here what's else behind here spirit yeah sleeping with your friend here so they got several partners here yeah bad intentions okay wow or they wish they could sleep with your friend yeah that's what they intended to do or should they wanted to if they didn't i'm getting that they probably did sleep with your, your friend okay they feel like you maybe you cried a lot or maybe they cried a lot somebody cried a lot around you i don't know well they did sleep with your friend this was a friend that was jealous of you yeah their friend was definitely jealous of you they would have slept with your person here they knew your person was not committal probably wasn't the first time they had sex with your friend either okay wow what else is here for some of y'all getting this person a uh, third party um, that they mess with you'll be getting some great news by the way um this third party that they slept with or whatever they could have had an std here okay yeah something about the third party having an std so yeah don't worry this person's gonna get some karma <laughs> yeah this person did some ruthless stuff okay this person is ruthless spirits that love yourself okay you could be a father a mother this could have made you angry or there could have been some sort of argument here okay you may be enlightened to this person um sleeping with your friend but i don't think you were enlightened to them going back to their ex here because their ex is like a sex slave whenever they call them they go you know hop in the bed with them that's what i'm getting here mm-hmm you may be found out in the next few weeks here somebody else have been having nice sweats here okay probably from wearing all right probably this person's probably sending some type of um because they're ruthless like sending bad thoughts your way or something like that okay yeah what else is here this person was ruthless like i'm getting like this person was ruthless like they didn't mean you no good no way collective okay if this is somebody that came into your life and they suddenly walked out of your life here you know they act like they would want to this person is a freak <laughs> that's what spirit said they gonna get some consequences for their actions too yeah in the next few weeks whoever this is okay shit oh my goodness wow yeah this person just quit calling you quit talking to you quit taking your calls just simply ghosted you here okay they're going to spiritual jail left you full of anxiety mm. Shit. what is this spirit what else is here left you got the crossroads i'm in a conflict because they have bad intentions this is out here twice this person they had up with bad intentions for you spirit had to step in for you okay bad intentions is out here twice this person definitely had bad intentions for you here or either your your, uh, your friend that slept with your your person too, that walked away. Maybe this happened at a family gathering. Okay, your person was ruthless here. Maybe your person also acted like they were too busy to talk to you all the time. You know, like every time you try to talk to them, they were too busy. But that's everybody. They gonna walk right into a damn STD. Okay, one of these sex uh, I don't say sex partners because that's what I seen. Okay, one of these third parties they mess with got an STD. If they sleep with them, they're going to get the STD. So make sure you don't sleep with them, okay? Well, if you got any doctor's appointments coming up, keep your appointment, Spirit said, okay? This person is ruthless here. Yeah, I told you they having threesomes here. And oh, well, wow. They probably wanted you to join in. You probably said no. They probably go, damn, you know, the collective too emotional. Let me move on to somebody else. Well, I like sex slaves. I like people to do what I want to do with the bedroom. 
to my no i don't do that now see this person wants somebody to do whatever they tell them to do and they like having threesomes so yeah your person probably slept on them too if you knew this you'd be disappointed in your in your um your friend for letting you, you know for sleeping with your person here okay but you'll find out because your friend might come and tell you they got an std if they tell you they got an std trust and believe they got it from your person that walked away from you and if they sleep with them they're gonna have it too yeah you just keep your appointments and don't sleep with this person no more so this person is definitely gonna catch your std messing around having these threesomes with these several partners and stuff like that and, and the ex they went back to yeah, see, they, they, they made a poor decision because it came out in the reverse. They made a poor poor de decision here. They're going to end up salty as fuck for cheating on you, okay? Cheating on you with a younger karmic. So this is somebody that cheated on you that was that's much younger than you here. Much younger than you here. Wow. That's probably why they're getting all these damn STDs here. Yeah. Defend yourself in this situation because they might try to say it came from you. Wow, this person is ruthless. I keep getting there ruthless. Uh, wow. Wow. But it actually came from the third party. Okay. Well, you'd be surprised to know how disrespectful this person is when you're not around. They're very, they're ruthless and they're disrespectful. All right. Hmm. You could be a Gemini. You don't have to be. Okay. What else is here, spirit? What do they need to know? Oh, when you find this out. Well, <laughs> you're going to find out because it's going to be verified because somebody going to come and tell you that you got that they got an STD. And they're going to try to say they got it from you, but you ain't going to have nothing. That's why I said keep your doctor's appointments because you're going to be able to verify that you ain't got shit and you didn't have shit. So, yeah, this person going to come to the wrong person to tell them, I think you need to go to the doctor. You'll be like, why? You know, it's over. You know, you be like, I think you gave me STD. you be like, that's bullshit. I ain't, I ain't gave you shit. I ain't got shit, you know? And they got it from a third party. Having these separate, uh, several partners here. Mm-hmm. Wow, yeah. Whoa, yeah, they making a bad decision going over there. Are they getting tricked over there? That's what Spirit said. <laughs> they think they going to a new lover, okay? They going to a karmic. They don't even know that yet. This person gonna try to slander your name and be telling the karmic that uh, you gave them an STD if they end up with it. But the karmic already know they had an STD. They didn't care about giving it to this person that left you. That's what spirit said. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Somebody got a roommate here that somebody wants to leave as well. Okay. Well, are they tired of their roommate having threesome while they're? <laughs> in their room wow that's another energy i'm picking up on yeah their partner has a roommate so okay it's causing this person to have nightmares all right knowing that somebody's having threesomes in the in the the bedroom okay hmm well they hear him talking about threesomes all the time they they're just the opposite of this person that they they room with and they did they're sick of it <laughs> They're fed up, I'm hearing. Who's having threesomes, okay? Wow. Yeah, this person is telling their ex that nobody can come between them, okay? But the ex has several partners, too. This is where the STD come in at, okay? Wow. Mm-hmm. They're going to be disappointed, too, when they find out you ain't the one that gave it to them. Somebody not drinking enough water here. Whatever you do, uh, collect to keep your appointment so you can verify that it ain't you. Okay. And if uh, a karmic film tell you that you got her pregnant, well, you is not the father. <laughs> you was not the father. That's what Spirit said. Yeah. And somebody you broke off with and they just happened to just leave you, walk away from you or whatever. I don't care. They might spend a little time in jail or did something to go to jail or whatever. When they get out, they might want to try to come back towards you, but they had walked away from you without saying a damn word here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They may come back to you and say, I need a place to stay or something like that. So are they pregnant or whatever? Spirit said, you is not the father. You is not the father. Wow. What else is here? Yeah, it's over. It's over for this karmic here. And all the little bullshit they've been doing. Yeah. For some of you, if it hasn't happened already, it's a separation ahead. 
separation ahead. Like I said, Spirit said, don't worry. Don't worry, okay? Don't worry, okay? Oh, I cut straight to it. Your true love is coming soon here, okay? You may find out this person that you've been dealing with because they, 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 if something is caught up with, they, they like, they like sleep with younger karmics here, okay? Be a masculine or feminine here. They may get caught up, um, also I'm picking up going to jail for some human trafficking here, okay? They may get caught up, okay? Wow. So just, you know, be glad that you escaped, you escaped in time, okay? Yeah. You escaped in time. You escaped this damn. Wow. You escaped this karmic in time. Mm-hmm. The opposition. All right. Yeah, this third party is involved in this human trafficking too. They might go to jail as well. Because like they like sex slaves and sex wait a minute, yeah. Sex slaves and threesomes. Wow. And all these STDs going around. And this person doing whatever they tell them to do. This is why they cut you off. Because you're too emotional. And they know that you wouldn't fit in. With these threesomes and all this stuff. And this human trafficking and stuff. So they have to just cut you off. If they haven't cut you off already. They plan to do so in the next few weeks. Okay. Wow. They salty as fuck that they couldn't get you though. Yeah. Because they wanted you to be a sex slave too. But Spirit didn't want that for you, whoever you are. That's why Spirit keeps telling you not to worry. Not to worry. This person just wanted to fuck around. You know, they go from one new lover to the next. And, and then these, these old attachments, these past lovers, especially this one they reuniting with, is the one that's going to bring them to STD. But they're involved in human trafficking together. This is why they didn't say anything when they left here. Yeah, they may be talking about you now. Okay, the opposition. The third party that's involved in this shit. Yeah, trying to plan your energy here. Acting like they all perfect and shit. They not. They going to jail. That's what your ancestors said. They were number energy vampires. And they were trying to get you caught up in a little mess here. Yeah, you just simply want somebody who loves you for you. Mm -hmm. You don't need no damn clingy energy around you. You know, somebody want you to be a sex slave or something. Yeah, Spirit said, if this person try to come towards you, they're only trying to trick you or whatever. Don't accept any gifts from them because they hex, they curse because they want to try to trick you with some type of drug, drug you up, and all of a sudden you into you into having uh three threesomes and everything, and you ain't gonna know how to get out of it. Next thing you know, you're in human trafficking. I don't care what your age is, okay? You could be a younger person or you could be an older person. It don't matter to this person. You you if you are um they like several partners, so it don't matter. You gonna find out how disrespectful this person is here. All right. I said, some spirit says somebody need to drink more water here. Yeah, drink more water here. Okay. I told you, uh, masculine, if she come back, spirit says not your baby. Not your baby. That karma film come back, it's not your baby. Mm-hmm. What else is here? Somebody likes skating. <laughs> wow. Mm-hmm. What else is here, Spirit? What do they need to know? Anything else? Anything else here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Recorded and protected. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be your sign. You may be at the crossroads now. Okay. You could be a father. You could be a mother. You got a lot of negative thoughts, okay? But, yeah, don't worry. Your life is going to be changing for the better here. Okay. Somebody's coming in for you that loves you for you here. These other people that's into this human trafficking, making people sex slaves and stuff like that, like they wanted to make you. They're going to jail. That's what Spirit said. Okay. Wow. They're going to jail for being a molester and a pervert. You're going to be finding this out in the next few weeks. All right. Whoever you've been dealing with, they walked away from you just like that. Like I said, you could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Okay. Wow. Anything else here, Spirit? That was deep. Well, they made a bad choice, yeah. It's all right they stood you up because they wouldn't, but, you know, bad for you anyway. Leave them in the past, Spirit said. If they come back around, leave their ass in the past because they're reckless and they're ruthless. All right? Yeah, they stood you up. All right? What else is here? They were always too busy. They wouldn't answer the phone for you and this and that. That's because they was doing, doing um, all kinds of shit behind the scenes here. 
But see, a new version of you has 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 emerged here. Okay, you're changing for the better here. Okay, yeah, you was with somebody that was always claiming they had a bad connection on their phone. No, they weren't near their phone when you called or something like that. Yeah, no communication. This person stopped talking to you all of a sudden here. Yeah, this person really wanted to tell you to mind your damn business here. All right, about what they was doing here. But see, they experienced that they're going to need a doctor visit because they, they got an STD or they about to catch one from this person they're messing around with that they went back to their past lover, okay? Because they're a sex slave. They like doing what your person tells them to do, okay? And especially they enter this human trafficking. They both, both about to go to jail together because they're doing some ruthless shit here. They're doing some ruthless shit here, and it's about to come out. Yeah, they thought you was annoying. Uh-huh. This trickster thought you was annoying. That's what they've got with somebody in the past here. They thought you was annoying. This trickster did. That's why they went and got somebody from their past here. Okay? Spirit said you vibrate too high for them. Anyway, these are low vib vibrational people that do bad shit. Okay? Wow. It's about to be revealed. It's about to be revealed. So you can release anxiety. Okay? That's what Spirit said. You got any messages for the collector spirit? Any messages for the collector? Just be big. Just, just thank God that you got away from this person in time here. Okay, just keep your doctor's appointment. It said wait. 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 This card says wait. So spirit's urging you to, to wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So spirit is urging you to wait. You vibrate too high for these people. Okay, something's about to change for the better for you. A new version of you has emerged here. Okay, Spirit's so wanting you to just trust. Okay, trust. All right, and just wait. Wait, do not engage in sex with this person or anything like that. Okay, what else is here, Spirit? You have anything else? Okay, Sacred Union. See, you're, you're sacred. You vib vibrate too high for this person anyway. This person only gave you unrequited love, okay? Wow. Spirit has a, a sacred union for you, whoever you are, okay? A sacred union for you. So Spirit wants you to wait. You, you vibrate too high for this person, whoever this person is you were dealing with. It says, honor and treasure your relationship, for it is truly sacred. But that's your relationship with Spirit. Okay, we're keeping your mind, body, spirit, and soul pure. Okay, a change is coming for you for the better here. A new version of you is about to about to um, evolve here, about to emerge here. And, and embrace the new you is what I'm getting here. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Okay, so what you've been missing in your life that you couldn't find with this person that walked out on you. Okay. Yeah, they're about to come your way here, okay? It's going to be a sacred union because it's been blessed by the divine here, okay? It's been blessed by spirit, okay? The person that's coming towards you is going to be your twin flame here, okay? And this is when, where your passion is going to ignite, okay? That's why spirit said a new version of you is going to emerge, okay? Changing A change is coming in for the better for you here. Not this person that walked out on you. Not that person. No, you're about to be in a sacred union with somebody here. Spirit wants you to embrace it. Okay? Because this is your twin flame that's coming towards you. Okay? Just keep your energy pure. All right? Wow. Keep your energy pure. Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Anything else you want to say before I close out? Anything else you'd like for the collective to know? Yeah, this person that walked away from you might try to call you or contact you. Do not even answer the phone. They didn't answer your calls. Don't answer this. It says, the past is now behind you. I'm going to say it again. The past is now behind you. Leave that person behind. They walked out on you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay? A change for the better is coming in for you. A, a more sacred union. Okay, because you vibrate too high for these people. They about to go to jail anyway. They got STDs. They sleep around hoes. You know, they fuck around and all that kind of stuff. You ain't 
You're not even supposed to be around these type of people. You're not even that type. You vibrate too high for these people. Okay, when you meet your twin flame, that's when your passion is going to ignite here. But you put the past behind and you release it and embrace new possibilities. Okay, a new path is not available to you. Follow it with faith. You know, this is a sacred union that the divine has prepared for you. Okay, so just wait, all right? These other people that you were around, they were nothing but energy vampires. They were feeding off of your energy here. Okay, wow. When they can't get, when they can't get to you, when they can't get to you, give me your energy and, you know, suck the life out of you or whatever. Use it, abuse you. Yeah, they're going to be salty as fuck because they're going to jail. They made a bad decision here. Well, they made a truly, truly bad decision here. Well, yeah. Take time to smile, spirit said, okay? Look beyond whatever this, this person did to you. If they walked away towards a new lover, let them have fun. Uh, going to the doctor, getting them STDs taken care of. Or if they in jail or something, I don't know how long. I, I heard they don't treat you too good in jail. They might let them have the STD and walk around with the funky STD in their body. You know, shit. Didn't that, didn't that, um, that one man, Al Capone, have an STD or something like that? And he, that's how he died. He had the gonorrhea or something like that. And he was in jail. And they didn't let him get no um, medical um, attention or something like that. And he ended up dying behind that. Wow. Well, that stuff will kill you too. Yes, it will. Well, I hope, I hope you know, when they go to jail, they, they, do some, they get some medical attention. But you just make sure you make your, get your doctor appointment and verify you ain't got nothing. And when this person comes towards you, because they can be ruthless too, uh, you can tell them, like, hey, I ain't got shit. So don't come at me with that. You know what I'm saying? Because God got a more sacred union for you. Because this person, is, they had unrequited love. They they like to sleep around, you know, F around with people and stuff like that. They like sex slaves. Okay, it's good that they're acting out of your life here. That's what Spirit said. Keep them out of your life. Leave the past in the past. And I'm going to stop it right there. Till next time. And I'm going to stay for now.